Hi everyone, so today we'll be making pipe cleaner pumpkins. This is what it looks like. I'm happy to use sparkly ones because I feel like it. You don't have to, you can use the normal ones, up to you. You're going to need two orange ones, a little less, but you'll need roughly two. And then you'll need some, a little chunk of a green one. I just happen to have a hole in here, but if you have like a little extra chunk of something else, that'll work. So first you're going to take one of your orange ones and make it into a circle part of it. However big this is going to be is how big your pumpkin is going to be. Something like that. I'm making kind of little ones because that's what I feel like making. So I want it about that big. And then you want to just twist it so it stays. Like that. And you want to take this part and you want to round it around so that it makes like the same like this. So that it sticks out the same on the side. So it makes it 3D. Kind of like that. And then when you do that, you want to stick it back through, like this, where it is, and wrap it back around like that, because then it'll stay. And then you can adjust it a little bit if you need to after you get that part done. And then you want to do the same with this side. I'm going to undo this part, because I made, I'm, you're going to do it a little bit, and then I'll make this part a little smaller, because I don't have quite enough for the other chunk then. So there, like that. And then this part just goes around and completes the other side. Like that. And then you just twist the little end part on so that it stays. Like fold it over or whatever. You don't want it to be perfectly even because I'm going to put another set, another round in this. Because if you look, I did six right there instead of eight because I like six looks good to me. So we have four now, and we need another one. Now we take this one, you decide which part you want to use. I'm going to use this part, and then you just attach it on. I'll be back, the camera just died. Sorry about that, the camera died. I'm back now. Now I want you to attach this part on like that, and then you want to just make it so that this part where you're putting this, which mine's going to go over here, because these parts are a little like that, and then that's where I want these, because these are closer like that, so let's go here. And then you just go around like this and you make it in between your other ones you've already made. And you kind of make it the same like, every, like all the other parts. You want it to be about the same. And when you figure it out, you hold it in place. You stick it back through and wrap it around the cross section of the rest. Like that. Now you have five little loops of your pumpkin. And then you're going to just keep going right up the other side and try to make it match all the other parts like that and then you just take the rest of this and you wrap it around again so that it stays in place and then you can just take your scissors and chop off your extra like that so there's the basic pumpkin now it needs a stem I'm gonna squish it around a little bit first you can do this before or after whenever you feel like it so that's what it looks like and now you're going to need a pipe green one. You only need like, like that much. You don't need that much of sort. Like that. And you're going to want to fold it in half. Just so you can like sort of find the middle. And then fold it back out like that. This just makes finding the middle easier. And then you just put it around the clump of the orange. And then just pull it up. And then just twist it together. So it stays. I'm going to twist it until it's all like, all in that one piece now. And then there's your little pipe queen of pumpkin. And you can squish it around if you want and pull on it and do whatever you want to it. And there it is. There's the other one I made. And again, you don't have to use sparkly. You can use just a normal fuzzy pipe queen. I just happen to like the sparkly ones because sparkles. So if you like pipe queen crafts, give us a thumbs up. And comment down below what types of things you would like me to try to make out of pipe cleaners, and I will try it, and subscribe. Bye!